So again, thanks for joining us for today's webinar. DocuWare is your new 24-7 digital employee DocuWareverse basic file share solutions. My name is Nicole Schmeida. I'm the marketing specialist here at DocuWare. I will be moderating some live polls during the session and Q&A at the end. Your main presenter today will be David Reinhardt, Regional Sales Director here at DocuWare. So here's an outline of today's session. First, David will share with you, you know, why DocuWare over these other um, file sharing solutions you may be using now. What makes it stand out? Then he'll go into a introductory live demo so you can see it for yourself. Um, get a feel for how it works. And then at the end, we'll continue the conversation with Q&A. Before I pass it to David, I do have a question for you all now. So I'm going to actually launch a, a live poll on your screen. And just take a, a second to answer the question. So what drives your business processes now? Uh, the first option is paper document storage and manual processes. Maybe you're already using, you know, file share as we, you know, we're talking about today, but your processes are still driven manually. Or other option is you're already using some sort of centralized document management system with automated workflows. So maybe you're here to check out, you know, what Docker has to offer. Or other, feel free to put your own custom answer in the question box. So I'm just going to wait a few seconds to get a majority of the votes in, and then I'll share the results. All right, thank you for those that have voted. I see the answers coming in. All right. Thank you all. I'm going to close the poll now and share the results. So you can see that um, majority of you are using the file, file share storage, but your processes are driven manually. Um, and then, you know, the second option is you're still relying on paper storage and manual processes. So, all right, looks like, you know, this is a great webinar that you're attending. We're, we're really looking forward to showing you um, how DocuWare can help you drive your processes. All right, now with that, I'm going to go back to my screen and I'm going to pass it off to you, David. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate that, Nicole. And thank you all for joining us today in our conversation, talking about DocuWare compared to, you know, the modules that exist in your accounting applications, your proprietary department applications, ERP, and as, as, a, as opposed to the basic file share systems like SharePoint and Dropbox, you know, you might be thinking, you know, I know I have a need for this. I know that my company needs to centralize. We need to move into the cloud. We need to automate some things, but I think I already have this covered or, you know, maybe my software already does this. Maybe my IT guy, my IT department are, already has this covered. And I know we're already somewhat paperless, but I don't know where to go. And, you know, why, why DocuWare? What, you know, what's the difference there? If we already have this, why do we need, why are we, why are we looking at this? And so when you think about that and you try to compare and contrast these really, what's the difference well it's it's really kind of apples and oranges you know they're very they're very dissimilar solutions you know many of the systems that you're talking about they have basic functionality for just accessing documents in the cloud you know many don't have workflow or automation or don't have forms or electronic central components you know they're these are things that are really essential for running a business and docuware has all of this and we'll go into details and, and compare and contrast and show what we can do but really you know, that's the main thing. If you're looking to really increase efficiency for your organization, drive process automation, uh, save time, uh, d decrease your operating costs, increase your ROI, maybe you want to expand into new areas, uh, open up new revenue streams, you know, but we've got the same challenges we had before with, not, you know, sometimes we don't have a lot of time. We've got maybe we're stretched too thin or, you know, there's lots of reasons why we need to be able to manage our process more efficiently. And that's what DocuWare does. Right? It allows you to still access everything in the cloud, just like you would expect. It's all in a central repository. It's all in a browser. We do have apps, but it also does a lot more for you than just accessing your documents in the cloud. We're talking about automation, streamlining the capture of your content. You know, where people spend a lot of time is just the mundane tasks in a day-to-day -day process where you're capturing data out of a document, you're making sure it's correct, you're routing things for approval, 
different users, not just you, right, but different users, whether they're at home or, you know, on the road or what have you, they're trying to find their documents, they're trying to stay on task, they're trying to automate things, get documents signed, fill out forms, and get it done in a timely manner. And that's what DocuWork does for you, all in a one-stop shop, in a way that really, you know, these other systems, they're just not designed to do, right, to put it simply. So when you start, look at starting a process like this, it starts with getting content into a system. We make it really simple. We can capture from any sort of device, whether you're talking about a copier, whether it's a scanner, even a PDF printer, maybe your documents come in an email, maybe they're physically on mail, maybe they're being faxed. We have different options depending on how you wanna capture that content, uh, depending on how the content's coming in, we have a way to capture that and not only capture the document to get in there, but we're also gonna do much more than just name the document. We're gonna capture all the data out of it. We're gonna give you the ability to index it, make sure it's customized, right, to your needs, not trying to put a square peg in a round hole, but we're gonna make sure we're capturing the data that matters. We're also gonna make sure that it's standardized so it's stored the right way the first time. That's a big challenge many people have in, you know, they're storing data in the system, but it wasn't put in the right folder, it wasn't named the right way, and now you can't find it. You know, and really, what's the point? Why do this if it takes me more time or I can't find what I'm looking for, right? And much more. And everything's going to be organized and everything is going to be secure because security is super, super important these days. And on top of that, it's going to tie into my other processes. So if I'm just looking for searchability across the entire uh, organization, that's great. But what if I'm also looking for automation? What if I want to have this tie into my other back office systems, right? Where can I save time in my processes? That's really the main focus that we have. You know, when you think about where am I gonna put my documents, you may already be doing some of this, right? Many of us for many years have been using Windows folders and that was great. And then came along the ability to store documents in the cloud, like in, you know, Dropbox or Google Drive or OneDrive when, when you know, SharePoint became a thing or maybe putting documents in SharePoint or then these applications, right? The accounting applications, the HR applications that are out there, the ERP systems, they said, hey, you know, we can do document management too. Let's put a thing in there so you can store your documents. But is that really the best place? Especially if you're looking at having multiple departments all trying to centralize access to content. Think about that, right? DocuWare is the smartest home for your documents. It is more than just a place to consolidate your documents. We're also talking about DocuWare doing things for you, regardless of you're talking about a contract, an invoice, a PO, an email, you know, any kind of document you can think of, regardless of the type, regardless of the file format, we can store it. But not only that, this is going to be working for you. And especially since we want to focus on, you know, finding that life balance that we've all been looking for over the many, many years we've been doing this, this is designed to work for you when you are not. DocuWare never stops working, right? It never stops routing your documents, sending reminders, sending notifications. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it's going to keep working for you, which is really important. We want to give you more efficiency than just a simple place to store your stuff that you can hopefully find it later, right? And that's where you start to look at, at the other systems that are out there and you compare and contrast, right? Because some of these systems look pretty appealing, right? especially if they're inefficient or sorry, inexpensive or free, right? That sounds pretty, pretty appealing. I can put my documents in the cloud. They check a lot of those boxes. I can drag and drop. Cool, I got my folders, I understand. Cool, I can name my documents. Great, I can do some editing. I can do version control. They've got it in the cloud. They've got it backed up. I can add users. It checks a lot of those boxes. But when you look at this chart and you compare, in this case, DocuWare versus Dropbox, super popular tool that's out there right now, look at all the boxes that it doesn't check. And think about that conversation about time savings, automation, right? It's all well and good to put a document into a system, but if I'm still doing a lot of manual data entry, a lot of manual capture and manual validation and all of that, what do I would do at that time? I mean, the technology exists, why not leverage it? So this, so DocuWare can intelligently capture your content. It can intelligently store your documents. It can send automated notifications. Maybe you just want an email notification and say, hey, there's a new document that meets this criteria. Can we do that? Sure. What if I want to have it do something more important than that and have it automatically route internally to let people know, hey, you need to approve this. You need to sign this. You need to validate this, whatever that might be. We can also have this be simplified so that you can have, you know, when you want to go find it again, we have customized searches for the different departments that make sense to them, not just this one, you know, here it is, it's what you get. For everybody, one size fits all. We have a customized search option 
for you that makes sense for you. If you want to search based on one field, go for it. You want to search based on a couple of fields, go for it. We have those options, right? But we can still also work with your other back office systems, which is super important because guess what? We don't do email, right? We're not Outlook. We're not an accounting system. We're not an HR system. We're certainly not an ERP or a CRM, but we can work with those applications to get the job done in an efficient manner where you're not having to manage and do data entry in a bunch of systems. You have a one-stop shop for all your content, and we're going to let those systems do what they do, and we'll do what we do without reinventing that wheel, right? We also have lots of flexible options. Some people love the cloud. Some people can't do the cloud for whatever reason, or maybe they need more, more options, more flexibility, more redundancy. We have on-premise, we have hybrid, we have cloud, and all of these systems have feature parity in that they do, they all do the same things, right? We have the same options. It's the same interface, the same look and feel. So it works great. And on top of that, we have pre-configured options. So if you said, you know what, that sounds really great, but I don't have an accounting process right now. Do you have one that's just out of the box, ready to go? Absolutely. Same thing for HR, same thing for other applications like electronic signature and contract management, you know, on and on. So we have these options built in. We have the tools to increase your productivity and take it to the next level. So if you're talking about electronic forms, automated workflows, running for approvals, we have that. Most importantly, we have the scalability that you need. Many of these applications, yes, they scale vertically in that I can add more users, add more documents, add more space. I can do that all day long. That's great. What about horizontally? Can my accounting application facilitate all of my HR processes, right? Or can they handle my student information or my uh, my CRM data, my legal processes, can they do that? We can, right? We can scale as big as you want or as small as you want, any process, any department, any document, anything that you can dream of, we can do. And it's all designed to be simple. It's designed to be simple to use. It's also designed to be simple to manage and flexible, right? This needs to be something that's simple enough that your people can not only get a job done quickly and efficiently, but that if you need to make a change as the person managing this system, as a company, you can go in and make those changes very quickly, very easily to allow you to flexibly grow the system internally. And at the same time, everything is very simple. We try to make this stress-free. We can automate as much as possible and it's all secure. We can do much, much more. And we'll talk through this and I'll show you in the demonstration. We also have documents already configured right, for and customized for many of your business processes. So many of you who've seen Docker in the past know about our pre-configured solutions, but many of you have not. So we have pre-configured solutions for HR, right, for accounting and more, but this is designed for many of your common departments, right? Sales, if you wanna do, you know, proposal development, you know, versioning of proposals, contract management, electronic signature, if you're looking for compliance, retention schedules, records management, on and on and on. This system is designed to scale to any department, any process, any document. A lot of flexibility. All right, quick check-in. Nicole? Yes, so I just wanted to take a, just a quick pause to see if any questions have come in. Um, let's take a look. Doesn't look like uh, there's any at the moment, but definitely everyone feel free to type in as we go along and we'll get to it during the Q&A conversation at the end. So it looks like we're good, David. Thank awesome. you. Awesome, very good. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna show you a quick Docker demo. Now, if anybody wants to see more, if you have questions, you wanna see something a little bit more customized, feel free um, to reach out, uh, to, uh, to reach out on Docker, to reach out to one of your providers, right? or reach out to us directly, and we'll have our information at the end. We're happy to set up a customized demo for you. So this is the DocuWare solution. It is a web-based application, regardless of its cloud or on-prem, you're gonna to get to everything you need from, uh, from web interface. We're browser agnostic. Everything is designed to be a very really straightforward layout. We do, security is super important, so everything is set up based on your credentials. So based on your role, based on who you are, is going to control what you can see and what you do. And by the way, everything is logged inside of a uh, robust audit trail. So we know who accessed the document, who tried to change it, if they tried to delete it, you know, things like that. So we have controls in place because that's very important. When you look at a system like this, everything starts with how do I get a document into the system? How do I do that? Well, 
we do it very simply. So we manage our intake processes through what are called document trays. And document trays are similar to a tray on your desk. Now there's many ways to get documents in here. You could scan from a desktop scanner. You could scan from a multifunctional device. Or if you've already got in your computer and your email, as many of us do, you can literally drag and drop a document into the system. The software has a, a unique piece of technology called intelligent indexing that intelligently looks at the documents that are coming in and it can automatically analyze those. You can view these documents and then when you go to store them in the system, it's already pulling out key values for you. The important thing to recognize here is this is a super flexible system that is designed to scale to any type of document that you can that you can enter into Docuer. It doesn't require any kind of customization. It doesn't require any stored templates, and it doesn't require any sort of programming. This is designed to be driven by an end user, and it's designed to be simple. You can also customize it. So any of these index fields that you see over here on the left, you can tailor those to meet your needs. So if you only wanted one or two, that's great. We can do that. If you wanted a few more, or you want to make some fields required, we can do that as well. We can even have this set up so if you really wanted to capture all of the data on the document, you can actually go through here and capture literally every line item here, all of the data from the top to the bottom, including line item indexing if you want to. So it's super flexible and customizable to meet your needs. Now, getting a document stored in the system is really pretty straightforward and many of us understand this. And we understand the concept of, you know, can I use barcodes, can I use QR codes, can I put in batches of documents, can I just scan in one or two, that's great. We can do all of those things. We have lots of options, but most importantly, when I wanna go find it, what does that look like? What does that process look like? And so we store everything in what are called file cabinets. We make sure permissions are super important as we talked about a little bit, right? So only the right people have that right access to, to the right content. But when I wanna go find something, I have flexible and simple search options. So if I just wanted to say, see everything, you can browse and view all the data in the file cabinet. So in this case, I have all of my documents here. I can modify this view. So if I like to have this nice tabular uh, format, which many people like, I can view my document. Each one of these rows is a different document. Some people say, you know, I literally like to see the image of the document as well as that data. So we have this index card view so I can view this. The important thing here is from an end user perspective, this is customizable and it's flexible. So I can see based on what works for me without having to force my users into a process or an interface that's not super intuitive for them. We like to create an easy way for everybody. And a lot of people like to be able to search. So browsing is one way. What about just a simple search option? So we have customizable search dialogues. So if I only wanna put in a couple of fields, right? And so here I can go in, I can put in, um, the this, this simple name of, a, of the company, right? So in this case, Northwind Traders is the name of that, of that vendor, right? And so here I can do that. If I wanna put in the order number, for example, then I can type in that way, okay? And uh, I can choose from the, from the various options. If I wanna see what's already in the system, then I can view them here. Let's see. And so I've got the order numbers available, or I can just go ahead and type and will show me what's available in the system. If I wanna just go ahead and hit search from this point, I can hit search and I can view all the possible documents that match that criteria. Now, since this is a demo environment, you'll see that I've got some duplicates going on here, but I can easily view any of these documents. Inside this viewer, this is a universal viewer. So this will let me see any type of document that I have stored in the system, regardless if it's a PDF, a Word file, Excel file, et cetera, right? I have that set up here and if you want to go through and, uh, and make changes or if you wanted to uh, modify this document, redact any information inside of this toolbar, I have a lot of options available to me. I can print a copy of this. I can email if somebody said, hey, you know what, can you just send me that page of that document? You know, what do I have to do? Do I have to export it out? Do I have to, you know, send it, you know, do I have to break back to my desktop and then go to, um, uh, and then just go to, uh, uh, to Outlook and bring that up there? In this case, I can just send it across this way. If I wanted to be able to stamp it, maybe I need to sign it as part of my process, right? Then I can easily select my signature stamp and I can stamp the document here. If I want to make any modifications or redact, I can do all this in the same tool. And you also notice I have the ability to view um, any common documents. If I have the invoice and the purchase order stored in the same system, rather than taking time out of my schedule to merge them and bind them together, the system is already noticing that they have common factors and it's showing me that these are common documents that are related to make it easier for me. 
right? And of course, the system skills. So not just accounting documents, but also employee records, contracts, you know, et cetera, lots of options. One of the main things we try to focus on inside of the system is saving people time. And one of the best ways we do that is by setting up lists and tasks. And so lists are kind of like a dashboard view of your environment. You know, what is going on in a snapshot? How many documents do I have coming in? How many are overdue? How many are expired? If I'm having documents get signed, how many came back as signed? How many are still pending? This shows me at a glance what my what's going on in my environment. What do I have any bottlenecks? Do I need putting more resources on a process? Things like that. And then also I have the ability to set up tasks or workflow. So when many think of people, uh, people think of workflow, they think of different things. In many of our customers' use cases, they're looking at how do I streamline a process where currently I am manually routing documents. I need you to, to view this document. I need you to sign off on a document or approve it, deny it, you know, whatever it might be. There could be lots of processes going on. We try to make this simple and automated so you can set it and forget it. Once we have a process set up, the documents always follow that same flow every time. I'm going to switch gears and change to an end user view. In this case, I've changed over to one of our processors, Peggy. With those of you who've seen a Docker before, Docker demo before, you know Peggy. She's one of our friends. And so inside of this, Peggy has multiple tasks. Now, it's important to note she only sees the tasks that are for her. So people only see what they need to see and not a bunch of other things cluttering up the works there, right? And so in this, I've got a task for me. And I'll, what I need to do in this case is assign this task out to a, uh, to a processor. This happens to be an abstract. What's important to note here is that in this view, one, I got the task routed to me. Two, I got a notification on it. Three, I can see when I got it and I can see the document. So if I click, double click on the document, I'll view it in the view here, but then also see in my task, what specifically do I need to do? Oh, I've got an order number that I can validate. I need to assign it to a person. Who do I assign it to? Let's look at the list and see who is available to me and I can quickly get that done. It's also important to note, I can do this from either the web interface here, or if I have the app on my phone, I can do it from my phone. So I have that flexibility to get my job done from anywhere, right? Especially in today's world where, where many of us are, some are working from home still, some are in the office, some are on the road, some are all over the place managing kids and school and dogs and you know who knows what else. It's super important that we can stay on task, that we know when a task needs to get done, we can complete it in a simple and efficient manner, the right way the first time, you know, and that, you know, there aren't bottlenecks just sitting out there where things are waiting to be processed or waiting to get done, or I'm sorry, I forgot about, it, you know, whatever the situation is. And people that are managing a process can stay on task. So as I switch back to the admin user, they can actually monitor, where are we in a process? Who has it? When did they get it? Or is it overdue? Things like that. So helping you keep on task. We just have a folder view. So for those who prefer to have folders as opposed to searching through web, we have that as well. And we've also got electronic forms. So for those who aren't familiar with electronic forms, think of a standard paper document like employee onboarding, right? If, I have, if I'm onboarding a new employee, there's documents that need to fill up. And sometimes that can be cumbersome, especially when I'm putting in the same information again and again and again. How can I make that process easier? How can I make it more efficient? And most importantly, from a company standpoint, how can I make sure it's correct the first time? And let's minimize the data entry and the validation, all the other work that happens on the back end. So let's make this simple. Inside of Docker, where we have electronic forms out of the box. And they're super, super simple. Many of these forms you can build really quickly. A lot of the forms I build in 30 minutes or less. Some take more, obviously, but a lot of these are pretty quick, right? They're simple, uh, simple to build, simple to layout. If I want to add a new field, I can literally drag on a new field. It's a really easy layout. So they can be a single line, multi-line. I can have date fields, check boxes. If you want to have a list, hey, I need you to select a list of possible options or check some boxes so you can see on this form, it's all available. I can do file attachments, either one or many. I can have electronic signature built into this form. And we're going to talk a little bit more in electronic signature uh, next, as we, you can see with our DocuSign integration. Um, but it's a really simple layout. I can also uh, build in the ability for this to have what are called field behaviors, where depending on what I check, right, I'm a lawful citizen, maybe I'm not, and depending on what I select, it might ask me for more information, right, or hide some information to make this simple as the form as simple uh, and efficient for me as possible, but also allow it so that anybody can fill this out without a lot of assistance and fill it out right the first time. Right? Let's get this done the first time. Now, also, it's important to note that when I submit this, I have multiple options. I can have this be a straight up web form where what you see is what you get, or as the case here, 
I can have this set up as a merge form. So this one form, this one powerful form is filling up multiple other forms for me. So in the case of onboarding, I've got a W-4, I've got an I-9, I may have some other internal forms that I wanna have them fill out. That one form is filling up all of these forms for me all at once and it happens in an instant. It's amazing. Each one is stored individually. It's all stored in a specific file cabinets and they can be different file cabinets if you want. They can be fillable or they can be a flattened and they're all indexed appropriately. So it's named the first time, indexed the first time. No more manual steps. And in this case, when we're talking about DocuSign, if you wanna have these all routed to DocuSign, I can have that done as well. So it's quickly completed, it's secure, it's signed, I'm compliant, I'm done, and it's all fully automated. As I said, working for you when you're not. So you can send this process off, you can have it accessible to the public facing internet if you want to, so people can you know, do applications online or you can have it automated as part of your uh, HR approval and onboarding process, right? Have this automatically done and it'll send the documents out to get signed or contracts or whatever it is, and it all gets done, right? So talking about DocuSign, so changing gears. So I have a basic workflow I got set up and I've got a cloud agreement that I need to get signed. How can I get that done? And how can I get that done efficiently? Well, let me show you. We can set up a stamp as I did in this case, send for signature, boom. That's all I have to do. I don't have to upload it to DocuSign. I don't have to launch DocuSign. I don't have to tell DocuSign who to send it to, where to send it, how to send it. It just knows based on a predetermined process that I have. And then on the end user side, what they do is they get an email here that pops up that says, hey, I have a document that you need to sign. You can simply review the document. It goes in and takes you straight to DocuWare. You can then configure this. Now, some people are gonna say, hey, you know, I wanna know, I wanna have them sign in a specific place, maybe I'm initial here, check a box. I kind of left it open-ended. So I can then sign wherever I need to sign. Super, super simple. The point that I wanted to bring up here is that the process for signing this document, you can see I've already signed this one before. This is, uh, the other one is uh, coming in next. And so, I can sign this document, it fully automated it, and it drops it right back into DocuWare. So the document is already ready to go. It's already queued up. It's already stored in the system. I've got the new version. I've got the replaced version. It's already been signed. It's here and I'm done. And the person who signed it got a notification. So they're happy. The person internally that was waiting for it to get signed, they got a notification. They're happy and we're all good. Okay, so DocuWare is a powerful tool that can really do a lot for you. There's no limit to the flexibility that we have, what we can do, uh, applications we can work with, the processes that we can help you streamline. It's a very, very powerful system. So with that, let's navigate back and we'll finish up. All right. So to sum this up, DocuWare is a very robust application. It provides quick and easy tools. It allows you to simply organize your documents quickly and it tells you to index them so they're stored right the first time. The data is captured right the first time. We can automate the OCR. We can do data validation against your system to make sure it's correct. Auto populate fields if you're looking to save even more time and increase efficiency. But we also provide the flex flexibility to scale into any department, any process, any document, whether you're in the office, out of the office, on your phone on the beach, we have access, and also allow you to stay on top of your processes, right? Stay on top of your workflows, everybody gets access to the content they need, when they need it, approved the right time, the right way, the first time, on time, every time, and everybody has access to the right version of the document, and it's all automated and secure, making sure that we're staying compliant and staying on track, right? And you can get set up in just days. So many of these systems, if you have experience with this before, maybe with your current systems, it may have taken a little bit of time to get it all, to get it spun up, to get it configured. You know, with this system, with DocuWare, we have pre-configured solutions. Whether you're talking about AP, HR, e-signature, COVID, right? Smart Document Troll, where we're talking about security and uh, and compliance and, uh, uh, and contract management, right? We have these pre-configured solutions that are all ready to go for you, which also, one, we've already built the workflow, so it makes it easier for you guys. But it also allows us to speed up that timeline so you can get you can get up and running really, really quickly. In many cases, in just a few days, which is amazing, right? And as we talked about, we have flexible deployment options. So if you want cloud, we've got cloud all day long. Our cloud environment is very robust. If you prefer on-premise, 
We can do on premise all day long. We have lots of customers doing it. Some customers even prefer hybrid. We can do a combination of both, to, uh, of both systems to give you that best of both world uh, scenario, or maybe you want high availability or high security. We have that. We have the system designed to meet your needs and to scale as your needs grow. Nicole, hand it back to you. All right, thanks, David. Yes, we do have um, a poll question for you. So let me get that up here. So right now I'm gonna launch the second poll question. So what you saw was an introductory demo, again, just to get a feel for the Docuer interface and all of the different tools of what it can offer you. If you would like a more personalized demo, um, we, there are various ways to get in touch, but right now, what are you? What benefits are you most excited for? Um, saving time, increasing productivity, automating work, uh, automated digital workflows, mobile document access, or just knowing that your documents are secure, having a more uh, having more formal tools in place. Or feel free to type in the question box any custom answer you would like. Let's just wait a few more seconds to get a good amount of votes in. All right, looks like a majority have voted, so I will close and share the results now. All right, looks like majority of everyone is excited about automating those workflows. So again, Docuer isn't the static place for your documents, it's a dynamic place for you to work with them, for Docuer to work when you're not working. So that's great to hear. So I'm going to just have a few more slides before we head to Q&A. David, can you see um, my the slideshow? Okay, I just want to make sure my screen I can, shows. yes ma'am. All right, perfect. So um, just wanted to highlight the different security um, certifications and user review awards that Docuware has earned. You know, Docuware is what 15,000 customers around the world rely on to securely house their documents. And on top of that, automate their most important processes. So you see we have won awards from G2 Crowd, Captera. We have reviews on Garner Peer Insights as well. So in that follow-up email I'll send later today, there will be a link for you to check those out and see for yourself. In the handouts of your GoToWebinar panel, we have a recent Docuer case study. Just wanted to pull out a really great quote from the key contact at this customer site. So this is a digital marketing agency. They needed a powerful solution to bring their agency to be a true digital agency. So now with DocuWare, they can access their documents instantly, but now you see their processes are structured, transparent, uncluttered. There is a clear path forward now, and they're not being held back by manual processes. So you can read the full success story in the handout section. So as we end today, I would like to ask you, what is your next move? We hope you move forward and continue the conversation with us so that you can save time and increase all around productivity. Again, hire Docuer to be that to be your new 24-7 digital employee to work when you're not working. And we hope you don't, you know, stay using the same processes, even though you're used to it and you know they're they're manual processes. We don't want you to just trudge along um, doing the same thing and just potentially, you know, wasting time, resources, even risking compliance and security. So if you only remember just one thing from today, we just want to reiterate that Docuware lets you work smarter than any static file sharing solution that's out there. So that's the, that's the key takeaway. If you can only take away one thing from today's webinar, I would like it to be that. So now let's open it up for some Q&A discussion. Again, the today's demo was introductory. But let's take the next step. If you want to see more features, figure out how Docuware can specifically work for your organization, please contact your authorized Docuware partner. You can head to docuware.com slash demo or email us with any thoughts or comments or questions at contact.us at docuware.com. So with that now, let's open it up for some questions. Someone is asking, Does Docu can Docuware work for my architectural and construction firm? Um, yes, absolutely. So we can handle any type of document, you know, even including, you know, when you're talking about CAD files and uh, and architectural files, even, you know, PDFs, regardless of the format, we can absolutely handle those documents. 
Um, that's not a problem at all. So we can scale to any type of organization, any type of process, you can access from, from anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter. Got it. Um, next question is, my team lead wants to keep using Google Drive before it, because it's free. Why Docker over this free option that we already are using? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the Google Drive comment makes a lot of sense. And we've got a lot of customers that have talked about that, that have looked at that. You know, Google Drive, it's not a terrible solution. It has its place. You know, if you're looking to share documents with a customer, right, or, or with a prospect and you don't want them into your system, it makes a lot of sense there. But if you're looking at run a business, running an organization, streamline processes, if you're looking at automation and time savings, Google Drive is not the solution for you, right? It's just basic file sharing in the cloud. It's no different than having Windows directory you have on your computer that does that isn't working for you and just putting it out there in the cloud. So if you're looking at increased automation and increased time savings, that's why it makes sense to start looking at a solution like DocuWare. Great question. Great. Next question is, um, can Docker index data from a scan? So not a PDF, but a hard copy that was scanned in. Yeah, absolutely. So when you think about, you know, the, the PDF documents that I pulled in there, just from a, from a simulation standpoint, those were all scanned images, right? They started off life as a piece of paper. And I had this question earlier from, from a, another prospect, you know, whether the document is one pages, whether it's five pages or 10 pages, doesn't really matter. So we can intake that document from any device that has the ability to, to digitize it because it does need to be electronic. Now that could be a scanner, it could be a copier, it could be your phone even. So we can bring in a document from those places and then we can index that through various methods. The one I showed today was the simplest, it's called intelligent indexing. And it can automatically look at that document It'll OCR the entire the entire document, whether it's one page, five pages, and beyond. It'll look at that content to see if it lines up with any type of document stored in the past. And if not, it'll actually walk you through indexing that document. So things you would normally do. I'm going to look for the in, invoice number. I'm going to look for the PO number, the customer number, the contract number, whatever it is, wherever it is in that document, all those key data points. And as you click on those, it remembers and maps the document for you live. So the next time you see it, it remembers and it gets smarter and faster and smarter and faster and more importantly it scales so whether we're talking about you know structured documents like invoices whether you're talking about hr documents whether you're talking about contracts whatever the documents might be we have a way to store those in our system and make that process super super simple for any end user great next question is someone was curious about the filtering by groups roles i guess how can how because how granular can you get with searching and how do you like group and role uh, user rights work. Yeah, so that can get a little deep and technical uh, depending on your level, but essentially when you think about managing permissions and access to a system like this, you're usually going to do it one of two ways. You're going to manage at the user level, meaning you're going to say, okay, here's a user, his name is David, and he has access to this uh, this part of the system. He's in accounting, so he needs access to all the accounting stuff, but he probably doesn't need access to the HR stuff, right? I think we'd all agree on that in most cases. So let's say from there, you then decide, okay, well, what level of access does he need? Does he need the ability to scan and search? Does he need the ability to delete? I can do those things. Then you start looking at, well, what does he not need to be able to do? Maybe I don't want him editing that content uh, inside of the interface beyond that. When I look at how he stores a document, what types of documents will he store them, right? How granular do I want to get there? You can control those things. And all of that can be done either at the user level, the group level, or the role level to make that process for managing the content for an entire organization that much more seamless. So yes, you can get super granular. You can control permissions. You can control all the functions, how they search, how they store, the results they get, the options for those lists that I showed you guys. All of that can be controlled from a permissions perspective. If you have specific questions, which it sounds like you probably do, I would highly encourage you to reach out. We've got uh, access on our website. We've got the email below, reach out to us. We'd love to set up a time, have a conversation with you. We show you how it works one-on-one. -on -one. Fantastic question. Great, um, next question. My company uses Office 365. IT wants to use OneDrive SharePoint because it's already integrated, no additional costs. It's hard to look at another solution. What can I say? Yeah, man, absolutely. That makes a lot of sense. You know, we get that question all the time. You know, you're looking at, you rely on IT heavily to manage your environment to manage your systems. And Microsoft, especially when you're looking at Office 365, SharePoint already comes with it at a certain level, right? OneDrive comes with it at a certain level. 
does that make sense? I don't know, it's already there, right? So you start thinking about that. Well, what is it? Well, OneDrive is the personal repository inside of SharePoint for you and your stuff as a user. And then SharePoint is designed to manage your, you know, some of your content for the organization. But is that really document management? You know, it's really not. It's document libraries in the cloud. It's just like the, you know, the Google Drive that we talked about. It's a file folder system in the cloud without a whole lot of automation, right? There's still no automation, ca automated capture getting into it. We're still not talking about workflow. We're still not talking about electronic forms. So when you start looking at truly automating the streamlining processes far above and beyond, just giving me a place to go search for my documents in the cloud, that's when it starts to make sense to look beyond that system, even though it's free, even though it comes with it, even though IT wants it, if you want to look at those efficiency gains and automation and streamlining your processes, that's where you need to start looking at a system like this, which, by the way, still can tie into SharePoint and OneDrive if you want it to. But we can do all the heavy lifting and the automation and things like that. So there's, there's a lot of power there. Once again, reach out. Give us a call. We'll show you how. All right. Thank you. It looks like we have a few more questions. I know we're about to hit the 45 mark. So if anyone needs to, if we don't get to your question, we'll definitely reach out after the webinar and we will send the recording out later. Um, let's see, someone asks, can I build an import example? If I have if I have several PDFs I would like to combine into one file, then route for approval and then save, is that, a, is that possible? Um, yeah, absolutely. So you do have the ability to combine PDFs. There's multiple tools for that. You can do it on demand. We have tools that allow you to do it automatically. Um, you know, you can also route them individually. It just depends on your process and what you want the end user experience to be. But yes, you can take multiple PDFs and have them routed for uh, for approval. You can even have the multiple PDFs routed for different approval processes as well as as we identify, you know, what type of document they are and what fields matter and things like that. Got it. If I send a document to someone for approval, do they need the Docker app or computer application in order to see what needs to be reviewed and approved? So if I want the user to, you know, when I, we talk about approvals, you think about what you want the user to see. If I want them to view the document and also approve it, maybe sign off on it, things like that. In most cases, I would need to have access to Docker. If I just want them to sign off through DocuSign, then technically they would need to have a DocuSign login or a Docker login. Uh, if I want to just have them just be notified, maybe I'm sending to a third party saying, hey, by the way, I just want you to get a signed copy of the agreement or just get updated documents because technically that's part of workflow, but I can just email anybody. But if I want them to, if I want to send them something to do, I need to, to, them to perform that task, they would have to be a valid user. Now, that being said, that's exactly what we created, a workflow user license. So for the users that just need to be able to do a workflow and maybe just search once in a while, but nothing else, we have a scalable option for you that is not, uh, that is extremely cost effective. So it makes a lot of sense. But yes, they would have to be a valid user in that, it, it, depending on the use case. Okay, just a couple more questions, um, then then we should be good. The, in, the information index from an invoice, will it interface with our EHR and fill in the AP entry for posting? Yeah, so great question. So you start looking at, at that point, you start looking at integration. Um, it depends on what integration options your system supports. So we support REST, we support ODBC integration, uh, you know, we have access through web service calls and things like that. So there, we do have the ability to pull data from, from different systems, whether it's on-prem, whether it's in the cloud. So those options do exist. So it depends on what they will allow us to do. Uh, but in many cases, we can absolutely do that, pull those data from those systems, do the validation, auto-populate fields. There's a lot of power there, right? Our main goal is saving you time. If we need to save you time by doing the validation of the data entry for you, or pulling the data back so the users don't have to, we want to be able to do that. Absolutely. Great. And someone asks, is pricing based on types, number of services, or number of users? That is a fantastic question. So many of these systems are modular, which is what people expect. DocuWare is the exact opposite of that. So our system in the cloud is designed to come with all of those options. So as you look at scalability, when we talk about scalability vertically and horizontally, right? I want to start off with a basic process. Hey, we need to go paperless. Let's start by scanning our stuff in. Well, let's just get it out in the cloud where people can get to it. We can do that. And then when they start looking at, I want to access workflows, I want to do e-forms, I want to do e-signatures, we don't charge you for those modules. They're already there. You just put the key in the ignition and turn it on. So it's amazing. So we're priced by user, we're priced by storage. We have different user levels, 
Uh, we have different storage levels. So we're priced in those ways, but we don't charge you for those modules. So it's all built in. It's amazing. Great. And will this work with all brands of copier scanners to connect? Absolutely. So it will, if the if the device you're talking about has the ability to digitize a document and put it out there somewhere on the network where we can capture it, we can work with those devices. All right. Sounds good. That looks like that's all the questions we have. If we didn't get to your question, we'll definitely reach out after the webinar. So thank you again, everyone, for joining us. Thanks again, David, for taking us through, um, you know, those insights and the introductory demo. And again, let's keep the conversation moving forward. There are various ways for you to reach out, contact your authorized Docker partner, and you know you can get started right away. Or email us with any thoughts or questions at contact.us.docker.com, and we'll put you in the direction to the right person. So with that, everyone, thank you again. Hope you have a great rest of your week, and look out for the recording and slides in the email later today. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Thank you so much.